The liver is one of the body's principal organs. In fact, the liver is essential for life due to its role. It acts as a filter for the blood. It is involved in the synthesis of the main plasma proteins. It is the main energetic reservoir. We cannot live without a liver. In Greek mythology, Prometheus stole the god's fire. As a punishment, he was condemned to have his own liver eaten every day by an eagle. In response to an aggression, the liver is an organ that can reconstitute itself thanks to a process called regeneration. An acute inflammation of the liver, or acute hepatitis, can lead to recovery, death in the case of fulminant hepatitis, and in a third more common case to chronic hepatitis. During the chronic process of cell regeneration, a mechanism called fibrogenesis might occur, leading to liver damage that causes cirrhosis and eventually cancer. Today, five major viruses are associated with viral hepatitis. A, B, C, D and E. Two of them, HAV and HEV, are associated only with acute hepatitis. Three of them, HBV, HBV plus HDV and HCV, in addition to acute hepatitis, can lead to chronic infection. The hepatitis viruses can be transmitted by different routes depending on the virus. Both the hepatitis A virus and the hepatitis E virus, which are resistant viruses in the environment, can be transmitted by hydric contamination or through the fecal oral route. In contrast, HBV, HCV and HDV will be transmitted parenterally, such as blood contamination for B, C and D and sexual transmission for B and D. A specific HBV transmission of the disease is the mother to neonate transmission route. The hepatitis A virus is responsible for acute benign hepatitis in 1.4 million cases per year, which never go to chronicity and most clinical forms remain asymptomatic. Vaccination is efficient and useful for travellers. The HEV burden is estimated at 20 million individuals per year. It is an acute hepatitis, sometimes severe, especially in pregnant women during the third trimester of pregnancy, leading to fulminant hepatitis and death. A vaccine against HEV has only been approved in China. Globally, approximately 257 million people have a chronic infection due to hepatitis B. Mostly in certain areas, Asia, West Pacific countries, Sub-Saharan Africa and certain specific countries such as Mongolia. There are approximately 800,000 deaths due to HBV per year, every year. The chronicity is linked to the persistence of the viral genome in the liver cells. A therapy by inhibition of viral replication is efficient but cannot eradicate this persistent viral DNA that may also be integrated in the host genome. Therefore, there is a lasting risk of hepatocellular carcinoma. A very efficient vaccination schedule may eradicate the transmission of B and B plus D. It is part of the WHO Hepatitis Eradication Goal for 2030. HDV is a satellite infection for hepatitis B infected patients in humans. 15 to 20 million people are infected. It's an uneven epidemiological infection rate with prevalence of over 20% in some countries, Central Asia, Africa. It's the most severe form of chronic hepatitis, increasing the rate of development of liver cirrhosis and cancer, and also fulminant hepatitis. There is no efficient therapy. The HBV vaccine protects a person from HDV co- or superinfection. Globally, approximately 71 million people are infected by HCV. This infection is chronic in a huge number of cases, over 50 to 80 percent. It may represent a high proportion of individuals at risk of liver cancer in some countries, such as Egypt. During the last 30 years, strong progress has been made with an antiviral therapy, 
Nobel Prize for Harvey Alter, Michael Houghton and Charles Rice. And a high efficient healing rate is now obtained, with viral eradication in nearly 100% of patients treated for 8 to 12 weeks. The main problem is that only 10% of people are treated due to a lack of viral infection screening and access to treatment. Cost? Availability? It is part of the WHO Hepatitis Eradication Goal for 2030. During the next decade, the goal of the World Health Organization is to help countries eradicate hepatitis C and to control hepatitis B infections. This will become feasible by knowing the latest viral hepatitis therapeutic approaches, providing access to diagnosis and therapeutics to everybody, high-technicity reference laboratories combined with point-of-care screening tools and drug accessibility will help such goals, limiting the cost by using generics, Continuously promoting vaccination programs for the virus when relevant, hepatitis A, B and D. In the next decade, hepatitis could hopefully follow the path of variola. (laughs) 